As the world moves away from the COVID-19 pandemic, we are reminded of the devastating toll infectious diseases can take on our lives and our societies. I thought it's just going to be a short time and we should be, everything should be under control. But unfortunately, it became a very big issue, mainly because it is a human-to-human -human transmission, and the transmission was so fast. But COVID-19 was not the only threat out there. In 1998, Malaysia came close to experiencing a viral outbreak that could have been as devastating as the COVID-19 pandemic. The outbreak caused widespread human suffering and the near total collapse of the pig industry. We were puzzled at the, the incidence of a pig disease and uh, we started going around the pig farms. The virus responsible was Nipah virus. It all started in late September 1998. But before that, there were also news about people getting admitted in hospitals. These were all the pig farmers. When Ipo Hospital received a patient with severe symptoms such as fever, headache, vomiting, confusion and difficulty moving, the symptoms noticed by the doctors were consistent with the symptoms of Japanese encephalitis. The initial investigations revealed that it was Japanese encephalitis. This viral encephalitis is associated with pigs and is endemic in Southeast Asia. We automatically thought that it was Japanese encephalitis because we are endemic. We are having this country full of uh, uh, Japanese encephalitis. Even from 1930s, 1920s, we have cases of en uh, Japanese encephalitis. However, as they started testing, results suggested the existence of a mysterious virus. The authorities noticed that large numbers of pigs were also getting sick. The infection was slowly spreading in many pig farms in Ipo. During this period, there were also experts from Taiwan who visited Veterinary Research Institute. And they were of the opinion that it is Japanese encephalitis. But the human samples were not properly investigated. Eventually, the virus made its way to the Bukit Palandok area in Nagari Sembilan. Actually, for this pig industry, it's actually well developed in the years 1990s. In our place, it's more than one million of the pigs. It's so-called one of the biggest uh, pig farms in Southeast Asia in 1999s. By the end of March, the authorities realized the mysterious virus was much more dangerous and similar to the Hendra virus. So we were always thinking it is mosquito-borne. So that was the uh, initial part of the investigation. So the minute we found out it's a bad bond, so then we had to go into the farms and then see what was exactly happening in the farms. As the Nipah virus outbreak continued to ravage Malaysia, a group of dedicated scientists and public health practitioners worked tirelessly to respond to the crisis. Experts from around the world flew down to assist local scientists in curbing the outbreak. Dr. Chua Kuo Bing from MU was calling us and telling that he has seen something different. It may not be Japanese encephalitis, but it's a different virus. To contain the spread of the virus, the authorities started various initiatives, including culling all the pigs in Bukit Palanduk and Ipo. If not mistaken, on 21st of March 1999, our government decided to kill all the pigs. You know, they're herding pigs, digging big holes, herding the pigs into the holes, burying the pigs alive. And then there were some which are, they're shooting the pigs or so. It was like a war zone, <laughs> that place, you know, everybody with the face covered. And... It was March of 1999 when the virus began claiming lives. Close to 100 people had already died. There's one whole uh, village where there were farm, have pig farms 
and these pig farms each house in front of the pig farm there's a house and each house had a funeral going on so that was a very sad time to watch all that the authorities were quick to act targeting almost 850,000 pigs to be culled in the towns of Ipoh and Bukit Palanduk I have to do whether I don't like but you definitely I have a sentiment on the pandi alur the pakkum and the cutting so otherwise we have no choice but if you ask me to undergo the same situation I don't think so I will go again half the village's population was reported to have fled for fear of contracting the virus Bukit Palanduk Southeast Asia's biggest pig farming community had become a ghost town actually we go for the nearest uh, township is called Lukut majority of people move over there for 3 months in fact i would say the 100% of the farms were wiped out in bukit plando and today i'm sure there'll be no more there are no more pigs there in that area you can't even see the structures it took more than a decade to figure it all out eventually scientists realized that pigs had been getting the nipa virus for years and they likely picked it up from bats one virus goes into the pig it amplifies thousand fold and million fold and uh, that's how the virus spread to the pig farmers when they are feeding the animals but researchers are working tirelessly to understand the virus and develop effective treatments and vaccines nipa virus is just one of many zoonotic diseases that have the potential to cause pandemics As we continue encroaching on wild habitats and consuming more exotic animals, the risk of another outbreak grows. It's a sobering reminder of the importance of vigilance in public health. 